Motorcycle fatalities in Minnesota are ahead of last year's pace. At least 26 riders have died in 2013 compared to only 18 at this point of 2012. Shane Lee visits a motorcycle safety class to find out how safe motorcyclists feel. The road is a dangerous place for a motorcyclist. The Minnesota Department of Public Safety says nearly half of 2013's fatal motorcycle crashes involved another vehicle. We think that motorcyclists are, are pretty good defensive drivers, but they need to be even more defensive. The sad truth is that many motorists never see the motorcyclist until it is too late. I've had uh, different cars, you know, you get in their blind spots and they want to merge over into your lane or just basically, even if you're in a residential area, people backing out of their garages or driveways and they don't see you. I don't trust other people, so I'd rather have my own and be in control. The Department of Public Safety and motorcycle safety class students encourage beginning and experienced riders to brush up on their safety. Because there's some things that you're going to need someday that you never thought you would. They cover a lot of stuff and they make you comfortable. That's what helps. Little Falls rider Brett Clark has been riding dirt bikes since he was a kid, and he has been riding a motorcycle for the last year, but he still thinks the class is well worth it. It definitely helped. You know, gave me more confidence in my riding. Clark and Mann both say they will wear helmets and high visibility gear to keep themselves as safe as possible. Still, other drivers have to do their part to make the roads safe. Back off from a motorcyclist, cut them some slack, and follow even more distance than the three second plus that we teach for normal vehicles. Only with the combined effort will roads truly be safe. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. There were 22 fatal crashes in 2013 that involved people wearing helmets. 68% of crashes involved riders not wearing their helmets. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.